Why is Replace with After Effects Composition grayed out? If you're working on a project in Adobe Premiere Pro and the Replace with After Effects Composition option is grayed out, you're probably feeling frustrated and wondering what's going on. Let's break down the reasons behind this issue and how you can fix it. First, it's important to ensure that both Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects are updated to compatible versions. Using incompatible versions can lead to this problem. Check for updates in Premiere Pro by going to Help, Updates, and do the same for After Effects. Make sure both applications are running the latest versions designed to work together seamlessly. Another common cause is issues with Adobe Creative Cloud integration. Ensure that you are properly logged in to Creative Cloud and that all necessary licenses are active. Sometimes, a simple sign out and sign in can resolve the issue. Open the Adobe Creative Cloud desktop app, sign in with your Adobe ID, and verify that all Adobe Creative Cloud apps are up to date. Dynamic Link is a crucial feature that allows smooth integration between Premiere Pro and After Effects. If Dynamic Link is disabled or encountering errors, it can cause the Replace with After Effects Composition option to be grayed out. To fix this, launch Adobe Premiere Pro, go to File, Project Settings, General, and ensure that Enable Project Locking and Allow Projects to be Opened by Other Applications is checked. Graphics card compatibility is also a factor. Outdated or incompatible graphics card drivers can interfere with After Effects and cause the grayed out option. Make sure your graphics card meets the minimum requirements for both Premiere Pro and After Effects and update your graphics drivers if necessary. Corrupted preferences or cached data can also lead to this issue. Resetting the preferences of both Premiere Pro and After Effects can sometimes resolve the problem. However, before doing this, create backups of your projects and media files to avoid losing any work. If you have both an integrated graphics card and a dedicated graphics card, try disabling the integrated graphics in your computer's BIOS settings. This can prevent conflicts and ensure that the dedicated graphics card is used for rendering. In some cases, manually importing your Premiere Pro project into After Effects can be a workaround. Instead of using the Replace with After Effects Composition option, go to After Effects, use the Adobe Dynamic Link to import your Premiere Pro sequence, and then link the compositions. This allows you to achieve the same result without using the grayed out option. Finally, if none of these solutions work, you might need to uninstall and reinstall both Premiere Pro and After Effects. Use the Adobe CC Manager to uninstall and then reinstall the applications. This can sometimes resolve deeper issues that are causing the problem. By following these steps, you should be able to troubleshoot and fix the Replace with After Effects composition issue, ensuring a smooth workflow between Premiere Pro and After Effects.